Measuring monarch density is the heart of the MLMP. You'll look at many milkweed plants and keep track of the eggs and larvae that you see on these plants. The result will be a per plant density of monarchs. We use this measurement to see how monarch densities vary within a year, between years, and among different sites and locations. Examine as many milkweed plants as possible, keeping track of the number of plants you look at. If possible, try to monitor about the same time each week during the whole time that milkweed is growing in your site. Remember, it's critical to record the number of milkweed plants that you examine. If you have too many plants to look at, you'll need to choose an unbiased sample. If you only look at the milkweed plants that you suspect to have monarchs on them, chances are you'll overestimate the monarch density at your site. To avoid bias, walk one or more random straight line transects, or paths, through your site. First, choose a random direction to walk. You can do this by tossing a pencil or stick and walking in the direction it points, or using some other random sampling method. After choosing a direction, hold your arms out to your sides as you walk. Examine every milkweed plant that falls between your fingertips, keeping track of the number of plants you look at, whether they have monarchs or not. You don't need to use the transect method if you can examine all of the milkweed plants at your site. Depending on how detailed you want to be and whether you have kids monitoring with you, you can choose to use datasheet 1A, which has rows for one date, 1B, which has rows for several days, or 1C, which allows you to keep track of how many monarchs are on each individual plant, but more on the datasheets later. Search for monarch eggs and larvae on each plant. When examining a milkweed, remember that monarchs can be hard to find. Look carefully at all of the parts of the plant, including the bottoms of the leaves and the small leaves, buds, or flowers at the top of the plant. Keep an eye out for caterpillar clues, such as chew marks on the leaves or frass. Don't handle the plants roughly to avoid knocking larvae off. Remember, not all eggs and caterpillars that you find on milkweed are monarchs, so look carefully. Keep track of the number of monarch eggs and larvae that you find and the instar of each larva. Note that the data sheets also have a space to record the number and stage of dead monarchs that you find. Scan for adult monarchs. Note any that you observe and their gender if known. Be sure to avoid counting individuals more than once. You'll record how many males and females you see and if you're not sure, mark unknown. You'll also record a lot of other information when you monitor. The plant species you see blooming, any disturbances at your site like mowing or pesticide use, temperature, and whether or not you see any bright yellow aphids. All of these things have spaces on the data sheet to help you remember to note them and will help us to understand more about conditions at your site. Now let's learn how to use the data sheets. This is easier than it sounds. You'll choose a method that works best for you and keep using it. Datasheet 1A only has rows for one date. We developed this for people who monitor with young children who can't write in the small spaces. Datasheet 1B has rows for several days and summarizes your whole season. Datasheet 1C is a little different. It allows you to keep track of the number of monarchs you observe on individual plants instead of just reporting the total number of plants and monarchs that you observe. On the simpler data sheets, you'd report seeing, for example, four eggs on a total of 100 plants observed. With datasheet 1C, you can report if these eggs were on four separate plants or if they were all on the same plant. This information will help us to understand potential impacts of crowding on monarch survival. Because you will also be recording the milkweed species, we'll be able to assess how female monarchs make egg-laying decisions when they have more than one milkweed species growing in a single site. To complete Datasheet 1C, you'll record more details on each plant. When you look at a plant with no monarchs, place a tick mark in the box labeled zero monarchs per plant. When you see one monarch on a plant, use the code that we provide on the datasheet to record what you find. Write E for egg, first for a first instar, second for a second instar, and so on. Each box represents one milkweed plant. When you see two monarchs on a plant, write EE for two eggs or E first for an egg and a first instar, 
depending on the stage of the two monarchs you see. Do the same in the boxes under the words three monarchs per plant, four monarchs per plant, or greater than four monarchs per plant, as needed. At the end of the session, add up the total number of plants, eggs, and larvae that you observed and tally this below the box. If you have only one species of milkweed on your site, you'll use one table per monitoring session. If you have more than one milkweed species at your site, keep track of them on separate tables. There are two tables per data sheet. 